guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a November favorites. It is that time of the month already. And so while there wasn't as much that I was loving in the month of November, there were still some things that really just caught my attention. There is a piece of lint that is driving me crazy. <laughs> there are just things that really caught my attention. I was using for a good portion of the month and I just, there were a couple of things even where like I had forgot I even had them, one in particular, um, and I just, and I was mind blown and so I want to share those things with you so if you're curious to see what kind of just stole my heart for the month of November then just keep on watching. Okay guys so let's start out with the product that like I forgot I even had. So I've had this for like no joke three or four months and the other day I was thinking I thought I bought a BH Cosmetics set off of Ulta. Well I had and it's this set right here it's like the rose gold set something along those lines Anyways, I want to say this was like, I think I used my coupon, I probably paid 20 bucks for this set. And these are quickly becoming some of my favorite eye makeup brushes of all time. Um, and I, in my last video in which I featured some of my favorite brushes, I had a few BH brushes in there, but these just take the cake. And it's hard for me to believe that these kind of quality brushes are that inexpensive but they are I suppose. So let me just kind of first show you the three that really have just been used nonstop for actually. Um, so it is a regular fluffy blending brush and I love the, it's rose gold, the handle is black and it's like nice and thick and sturdy. This one's a fluffier brush like for doing your crease work and then if you want more detailed crease work where you wanna apply like a deeper shade to deepen up your crease, you've got a more tapered blending brush, which I love and think is so super awesome. And then you've got a crazy amazing pencil brush. I'm telling you, I'm like blown away and to think these were in my drawer the whole time. And then the other one is a, um, well, actually there's a couple others. There's a shader brush that is probably the best shader brush I've ever used. And I think it's because it's like skinnier and, um, like denser, it's just really, really good. I can't even tell you how well this has been packing on color for me, like shades that I would usually go in with a wet brush. This has been doing the job dry and just putting them on so nicely, so foiled, so metallic, that I have just been over the moon for that. And then the other one is a face brush. Sorry, the dog is like trying to get into my stuff. The other one's a face brush. It looks like this, and I feel like I've used it for several things. Most recently for cream bronzer. Like it just, I, I don't know if it's because it's shorter, it's denser, I'm not sure. But it just works really well with cream products. I love like just, I don't know. I used my Giorgio Armani, I forget what it's called, but it just works so well and I, I'm loving it. So again, this whole set was like 20 bucks and this is probably my favorite brush yet I have, or brush set I have ever picked up. It is, it's awesome. I can't say enough good things about it. Okay, moving on. I picked up the Anastasia Glitter Adhesive in my Rouge haul, I don't know, the start of the month maybe? Anyways, I figured it would be very difficult to top the Too Faced Glitter Glue, which I still think that one is my favorite. Now there are some differences, but I love this one. The main reason is because I don't have to go in with my finger. I don't have to apply some on the back of my hand and go in with a brush. This basically already has the brush in it. Um, it's like a bottle of nail polish is the best way I can describe it. Um, the only thing I'm not crazy about is that when you first put it on, it's very wet, obviously it's a liquid, and so I have to kind of wait for it to dry down a little bit before applying my glitter but I very much like how convenient it is. And I feel like it's a little quicker and easier to use than my glitter glue. So I really am enjoying this. I was really skeptical because to me, I'm like, mm, I've tried several glitter adhesives, glitter glues, nothing tops the Too Faced glitter glue. And I still think that's really the best out on the market, but this one's a close second. And again, I love how convenient it is. Keeps my glitter on all day. It's just really, really good stuff. The other is a lash glue. Now I have kind of gone back and forth. I used to use the duo lash glue and I prefer the glues with the little wand, not the little squeezy tube. So I used to be tried and true for duo. The other day, or not the other day, months ago, duo was sold out at my grocery store. So I picked up Kiss and I was like, 
Okay, this is pretty impressive, but it takes a while for the kiss to dry down for you to, or for it to get tacky to put on your lids. So I went back to Duo and I was just so disappointed. I'm like, man, I remember Duo being so much better. So I then went back to Kiss. Now this is the Kiss one that I had bought the last time was sold out. So this was a little bit more expensive one. It's the Strip Lash Adhesive Lash Couture with biotin and blueberry. So you know how the regular Kiss lash glue has like the aloe and it's probably like $3.99. This one's like $5.99. But as I started using it, I was like, yes, this is why I love this glue so much. With Duo, I was finding that my lashes were popping up in the corner and I was just getting really, really frustrated. But this also has your little wand, just like others that you are probably used to using and I really like this. This is just also supposed to um, the biotin and blueberry. It's latex free. It's supposed to I believe kind of help condition your lashes not be as rough but love 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 that. Next up is a product I purchased at the beginning of the month. Um, Ulta had these on a hot buy for $12. I had my 20% off coupon and I bought like four of them at $10 each and they are the Stila Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duos, and I had been wanting these for such a long time. I just didn't yet want to pay the $20 per compact. So at $10, I thought, I don't mind getting four for the price of two. And there were four shades that I was wanting. This particular one is the shade Jade, is probably my favorite. I love these. So if you are a sparkly, glittery eyeshadow type of girl, this is for you. You have one side that's very sparkly and almost kind of metallic, and you have one that is just pure, straight up sparkle. Uh, they just go on so nicely. They look so good. And uh, they last all day if you use the proper either glitter glue or eyeshadow primer. With this one, I just use eyeshadow primer. This one, I do use glitter glue. And they are awesome. They're really, really nice. They come in like different shades, blue, purple, uh, red type of shade. They're just so good. And I am still over the moon that I got them for 10 bucks. It's one thing to really like, it's one thing to get the makeup you want and you're like, yay, I got what I wanted. But then when you can get what you want, if you're willing to wait it out, if you can get what you want for a fraction of the cost, then that's even better. So I just feel like this was a win for me. I got it for a great price and I ended up loving it, which I was so glad I did. Okay, moving on. These I actually picked up on Black Friday, so I have not been using them all that long, but I've been using them very consistently since I bought them and I am just blown away. These are the Marc Jacobs. It's the On The Dot three piece Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon Collection. I really was not gonna pick this up. When it first came out, I was like, okay, 25 bucks. I'm willing to pay that to uh, try out these three. Well, I never did. I was like, you know what? I really don't need it. Well, then Sephora placed a ton of makeup on sale for like Black Friday weekend. And this went on sale for $17.50. So when I went out for Black Friday, I ended up picking it up just because I swatched them and was so blown away by the swatches. Now, I won't really swatch something on my lips and start freaks me out just because I've heard so many studies and crazy things about what all can be in those tester tubes. <laughs> but... Um, usually I'll swatch it on my hand. I'm like, okay, you know, you kind of get a semi good idea. Wow, there are no words. So this is supposed to be liquid lip in a stick, one swipe color, 16 hour luxe long wear. I have not tried the 16 hour. It does stay on till I take it off. Um, one swipe color, yes. And then liquid lip in a stick blows my mind. I don't know how it does it. It is the creamiest formula I have ever tried. These are the three right here. I am wearing the red one on my lips today and it's weird because they're not like a matte. The red has almost like a sheen to it. It's so bizarre, blows my mind, but I am so in love with these that I have not been able to use anything else. So I would say this is very comparable in my mind to the Pat McGrath Le Matte, no, Pat McGrath Matte Trance Lipsticks. Um, remember I had reviewed the little three piece set and I was blown away with how soft and velvety and just moussey and I don't know, something about them just was amazing. This is right up that way. It is awesome. If you can get your hands on this, I absolutely would. Just to let you know, it comes with Ready To Go, which is a brand new shade apparently. Night Mauves and Plum and Get It are two shades in the regular lineup. So this is amazing. Again, a great deal and great product. 
I'm really happy with that. Um, a few of these things you might see have seen in previous videos just because I have featured them like in your beauty gift giving guide in just a lot of different, um, what was I going to say? A lot of different videos. <sighs> Anyways, this is the Too Faced Tickled Peach Eyeshadow Palette. Again, not something I was expecting to love, um, but when I was in store because of the sale, I swatched it and was like, wow, this needs to come home with me. And there's always something about when you pick up the last product on the shelf where you're like, yeah, you know, I mean, like you feel like this, you just won this big award or something because you you grab it and you're like, yes, I was able to get that last one. It's such satisfaction. I had a subscriber when I last said that says something along the lines of, yes, it feels so good, but they probably like have a whole drawer full of them. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> as soon as you walk out, they probably just restock the shelf. This thing is so good, you guys. Now, I hate featuring it when I know it's like all the sites I've checked it's no longer available, um, but I am featuring it because it really was one of my favorites. I can't tell you otherwise. This thing is, it looks neutral, it looks like every day, it looks dupable, but the finishes and quality of these shades has really, really blown my mind. I've been so impressed, so happy, and I've put this to use quite a bit this month, and I've just really, really been loving it. I just... I can't say enough good things about a $26 eyeshadow palette. I'm so, so impressed, so happy I picked it up, and I picked it up on the 20% off, so I got an even better deal. And uh, that was just, Too Faced really did it right this holiday season, and I'm, I'm really kind of tempted to pick up the sugar cookie palette. Have not done so, but this thing is so, so good. I've really just been loving it. Another palette I have been loving, this thing is beyond all words, beyond all comprehension. This, I feel like Huda just does it right every single time. Every time I see she's going to release something, I'm like, I'm on top of that. I want that. I want to try it out. She does no wrong when it comes to makeup. I love her stuff. I love her packaging. I love the quality. Now, yes, sometimes the price tag is a little bit pricey. However, you're paying for quality and her quality is there. Obviously, I'm talking about the new nude palette. This thing is just so, so good. Every time I buy one of her palettes I'm like oh, she can't top this and then she does the desert dust palette is one of my favorite palettes of all time I love that palette so much and this one is just right up there with that so obviously the packaging I've told y'all before her inserts is just out of the ordinary it's like I love these little things little details that just really make something good and these are just incredible. You've seen this left and right. There's really no need for me to go super in-depth. There's our, I already have a review out. You've probably seen a ton of videos on this, but you already know the marbled shades in here are ridiculous. The glitter shades, I love having the two actual glitters, but pressed in a pan. So like, hey, if I want glitter, like loose glitter, okay, I've got it in this palette. I've got a one-stop shop here. These marbled shades are ridiculous. I don't think anybody has ever come out with something like this. It's innovative, it's different, and it is super, super stunning. She, again, she knows how to do it right. And that is why every time she comes out with something, I pick it up. So the um, mattes in here, for me, have blended out like perfection. They're very seamless. They're very effortless. It doesn't require a whole lot of work um, and you could do so much with this. Uh, it, it may look nude or kind of neutral or just kind of berry slash floral, but you can do so much. This one really is, I mean this one's awesome. This one's awesome. Um, if I had to pick probably one favorite thing out of this whole favorites batch, it would be that palette. Um, okay, just a couple other things. The Marc Jacobs Sequins Glitter Eyeshadows. I really was not, again, I wasn't planning on picking these up. I don't know. I guess I had made my mind up for a lot of things at the start of the season and my mind got changed a whole lot. I picked up a couple during the sale. Let me rephrase, I picked up three during the last sale. And then I figured when we, when the Rouge got that extra bonus weekend, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick up Glamethyst, which I did, is the purple one. This particular one is Topaz Flash, and these are so amazing. I know a lot of people were picking these up because the Hourglass ones were sold out, and they may even be better than these, who knows? But these are pretty darn good. So it's basically a pot of like glitter eyeshadow. It is a cream. It's very similar to the Tarte, what is it? Chrome paint pot? Chrome pots? Paint pot is MAC. Um, 
Anyways, so you got a lot of similarity among brands doing this kind of format, but I don't know, this formula, this sparkle, for if, you know, for someone like me who loves sparkly, glittery eyeshadows, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that by now. <laughs> This is just everything I could ever ask for in a glitter eyeshadow. It's perfection. It goes on just amazingly. The glitter slash sparkle is built into the formula. I don't have to use a glitter glue. And uh, I just pack it on really with my finger and I am good to go. Like it is so easy to use. You could use a matte shade in the crease, throw this on all over the lid and yeah, you're done. Go out the door, bye bye, have a good day. <laughs> This is so, so good. This one's Topaz Flash, and there is a ridiculous amount of sparkle in there. It's very, very metallic, and so it just was very appropriate that he released this for holiday. And that's what I love to see, is brands doing something different for their holiday lineup. I wanna see something over the top, something different, something I haven't seen before, and this was it for me. Um, last two things are actually, actually, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say they're both lip products, they're not. One is the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is nothing new, this is super old. I actually had not tried this yet. You know I am tried and true to my Benefit Brow products. And the last time Ulta had their like 21 days of beauty or whatever, they had this for, I don't know, like 12 bucks and I had been wanting to try it. So I thought, okay, now's the time to do it. This is the other item where I had kind of forgotten about it. I put it in a drawer. I've been happy with my Benefit brow products. I'm going strong on those. And then the other day I saw this and I was like, I better try that before it dries up and I can't use it anymore. And then it was a waste. I love this thing and I think I like this one even more than the Benefit uh, Goof Proof, that triangular one. And let me tell you why. The, the Goof Proof, is it Goof Proof? I think it's Goof Proof. It's beautiful. It's very pigmented, but it's also very soft. So that tri little triangular um, shape, was it say form, shape, it starts like melting down to where it's not so triangular anymore. So it becomes harder to get into those precise areas. And then it becomes a little bit more messy and you have to do a little bit more cleanup. I have found this one to remain or to keep its shape and I love that because it makes brow, just makes my brows easy if I'm on the go, if I need to be done in five or 10 minutes. This thing, I could just do it and go and yeah, I'm done, my brows are done. It has a spoolie, as you know, on one end, nothing super uh, revolutionary. You've This has been out for a while. But just so that you know, I am in the shade dark brown. My hair is like a medium brown, but my brows have always been pretty much almost a black. So I don't ever go black on the brow pencils just so that it doesn't look so, so dark compared to my hair, but I do go dark brown. Um, and I love this. Like even if I'm kind of pressing down a little bit, it doesn't overly, like it's not super messy. That's probably why it maintains its shape, but it's just so, so good. Just for reference, that's the dark brown and I only swatch it really just so that if you are my complexion, if you have my hair or brow color, then you know that that is what works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you. Love it. I'm, I don't know, pretty sold on that one. Last but certainly not least, um, the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss. I had picked this one up a couple of months ago, actually during the customer appreciation sale back in August, had forgotten about it. And about, I don't know, the start, maybe into the first, second week of this month, I busted it out because I was like, all right, I need a lip topper, lip gloss topper. And granted, I think my the smell of mine has changed a little bit. Maybe it's because I didn't use it for those first couple of months. Heck if I know. Ugh. I didn't mean to stick that up my nose. That's gross. But see, mine doesn't really smell like coffee anymore. It almost smells kind of like plastic Play-Doh or something. I know that sounds so weird. Mine is in the shade Flat White. And I can't even tell you how amazing this lip gloss is. It's very pigmented. So if I put it over top of a nude lipstick, it does change up the color of my lipstick because it's just very, uh, it's more opaque than I thought it was gonna be. I am okay with that because I actually prefer that in my glosses. I'm not super crazy about a just sheer gloss. I like a little bit of opacity in there. So that's one reason I love the Anastasia lip glosses. So that's that right there. It stays on, I have noticed, for a really good long time. This is so good. If you have your chance, if you have a chance to get your hands on one of these French press lip glosses, they were supposed to be limited edition, but they've been on the shelf for a while. <laughs> so this is so, so good. Love, love, love. Lastly, this is not a beauty product, but I wanted to 
throw it in here because this Blu-ray was released this month. We had already seen it in theaters. But if you are a Disney freak like me, then Christopher Robin, you, you may have already seen it at the theaters. You may have not really liked it this that much. We saw it at the theaters. I was I just was so blown away that I even told my husband I think this is probably one of my favorite live action Disney movies of all time and that's saying a lot because I loved the live action of Beauty and the Beast. If you have not seen this movie, you need to see this. Get your hands on it. It is such a family friendly movie if you're looking for something to watch that's safe for you to watch with your kids and the whole family. This is so, so good. Now granted, I'm a little biased because I love all things Disney, but no, truly, this is the sweetest, sweetest movie you will have watched in a very long time. So Christopher Robin, uh, a favorite of, in November. I have like, we watched it at the theater, like I said, and I've already watched it a couple of times since I got this on DVD. So that's it. That brings us to the end of my November favorites, you guys. I hope you found something in here that was like intriguing, enjoyable. I don't know something that maybe helped you out and if you're trying to make a decision on something makeup related. But I, again, I hope you enjoyed and maybe just found it a little bit entertaining. All right, guys, before I let you go, I need to give you the verse of the day. Today's comes from Psalm 4, 8, and it says, I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord, will make me dwell in safety. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope again that you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. That really does help quite a bit. If you found it enjoyable, if you found it helpful, just click on that thumbs up button. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already, if you are new to my channel, because I sure would love to have you as part of this YouTube family, especially now that we're coming into the holidays. There's gonna be more coming your way, tutorials, things like that. Talk to you soon. Bye.